Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another video. So as you can tell by the title of today's video, I am going to be sharing another meal prep video with you all. So I know that you guys have really enjoyed my previous one, so I thought I'd do another one for you today. So today I made a delicious meal prep. I actually don't know what to call it. I'll give you a sneak peek and show you what it looks like. So here it is. Honestly, it's so delicious. Myself and my husband have just had one each for our lunch. And all I can say is you really need to try it because it's absolutely delicious. And you just can't go wrong with something like this sat in your fridge and you can just take it out wherever you need to go. Maybe to work or even after maybe the gym, you can come home and have something absolutely delicious and not have to worry about prepping and thinking about what you can make to eat. So I would say set yourself a couple of hours um, aside and get this one done, prep it all for the next few days, pop it into your fridge once it's cooled and you don't have to worry about lunch or dinner anymore so as always I will link all the ingredients measurements and things like that in the description below so if you do want to make this then head down there and you will see everything over there and I have also just created an Instagram account linked to this YouTube channel so I will link that below and I'll also pop it on the screen right here so if you do want to follow along then feel free to do so so I hope you enjoy this video I'll get straight into it now and I'll see you towards the end Okay, so we're starting off with some lamb mince. I've got around 500 grams here and it is time to season it. So I've got two red onions, I've got one green bell pepper and I've got around one and a half of um, green chilies. So what I'm going to do is wash them and then I'm going to cut them up. Um, not finely because I am going to be using my little handy dandy chopper. So my mum actually got me this. I don't know where she got it from, but it's so, so good for when you want to mince up um, some of your ingredients. So it doesn't work well if you've got too many because it will just take far too long. But for this amount, it's perfect. And once it's done, this is what it looks like. It's really, really finely minced. So I'm just going to add that directly in with the lamb mince and I'm adding in some salt, some coriander powder, I've got some cumin, I'm also adding in some of this Sikh kebab seasoning, um, any kebab seasoning will do so I'm going to add in around two tablespoons of that. Then I'm also going to add in some gram flour. Then I'm also adding in a generous amount of fresh coriander and some chilli flakes. Now pop on some gloves and really massage the meat. You wanna make sure that all those flavors are well combined within the meat. Um, once you've given it a really good mix, it should start to look something like this. It looks beautiful. So now we are going to start forming our mini kebabs, meatballs, whatever you want to call them. And I'm going to be cooking them in my air fryer oven only because it's just going to be so much quicker to do them all at once. But if you don't want to do it this way, you can do it in um, a pan over the hob. You can do it under the grill, whatever you like. So I'm just going to form them like this, press them down with my fingers to flatten them a little bit. Now continue to do this until you have used up all of that mixture. And now I'm going to spray them with some olive oil, just a little spray over the top. And then these are ready to go into my air fryer. So I pop these in into the middle shelf and I cook them at 230 degrees and I cook them for around 15 minutes. You just want to keep an eye on them. They could take up to 20 minutes. So just check them and take them out once they're done. Now moving on to the rice. I've got a cup of rice here. This came out to be 315 grams. Um, so I'm just going to rinse that and soak it. And then I'm going to chop up one medium onion. You want to chop this up quite finely and then I am going to heat a pan over medium heat, add a little bit of olive oil in there and then add in your chopped onions. Now you want to fry these off for around five minutes just until they have softened a little bit. Once they are there, it's time to season. So I'm adding in some red chili powder, then I've got some cumin, some salt and some garlic powder as well. Now just give everything a little stir and then add in a splash of water to make sure nothing is sticking. 
Then I also added in around a tablespoon of tomato puree. Again, give that a mix, add in a little bit more water and just cook everything together for around five minutes. And once it looks like this, it's time to add in some water. So because I had one cup of rice, I'm going to add two cups of water. Stir that through and then once this comes to a boil, it's time to add in your rice that you had soak in. Um, now just give everything a little stir again and once it looks like this, you want to turn the heat right down and let this simmer for 20 minutes and then turn the heat off. Now I'm going to be making my garlic sauce. You've probably seen me make this a few times before, but in case you haven't, I've got some Greek yogurt. I've then added some mayonnaise. I'm now taking around five cloves of garlic, which I'm just going to mince and add those in as well. Then I'm also going to add in some dried mint, so around a tablespoon. Don't forget all the measurements are down below if you don't hear me mention them here. Now just give everything a really good mix around and this is my creamy, delicious garlic sauce. And because we are doing meal prepping now, I bought these little sauce tubs which are perfect for meal prep boxes. So I'm just going to pop my garlic sauce into these tubs and just set these aside until I need them. But how cute are they? Like I said, they're perfect. You can just take them out when you need to heat up your food. So now that everything is nice and cooked, I am going to start boxing up the food. So I'm starting with a generous amount of rice. Then I'm popping two of these garlic sauce tubs in each box. Um, and then I'm adding on our gorgeous meatballs and just look at this meal prep. Honestly, these meals look delicious, tasted delicious. Um, they were perfect. You could change up anything that you want to. You could change up the sauces, you could add salad, do whatever you like, but you have to make these meatballs with this rice. They were honestly so tender and juicy on the inside. You can see all those herbs and spices running through them. And they were so, so soft. As you will see here, they just broke up when I applied a little pressure. Um, and they go so, so well with this garlic sauce as well. Um, so I would really love if you try this recipe. You don't have to meal prep this one if you don't want to. You could just literally make it up as a meal for one of your weeknights or even on the weekend. Um, the rice cooked perfectly as well as you can see. So I really hope you enjoyed. And that's it guys. That is how I made today's meal prep. Like I showed you, it is such a beautiful one. One thing I would have done, which I completely forgot, is I could have just changed one of these tubs and filled it with like a mixed salad, maybe a little salsa that's homemade. Um, that would have been really, really nice as well, but that is an idea if you do want to pop it in there. So like I mentioned, it's a really, really nice lunch or dinner option. Um, you can pop it in the fridge and it will last around five days. Um, and these meatballs that we made, honestly, they are so, so tender and juicy. They were not dry and whatsoever. And the rice turned out beautiful as well. I was actually going to use one of those microwave Mexican rice packets. But then I thought if somebody doesn't want to use them and they want to make a homemade rice, then I should show them an alternative. And this rice was actually perfect going along with these little meatballs. Um, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And like I mentioned at the start of this video, um, follow me on Instagram as well if you would like to. And I will see you all in my next video. Take care guys, bye.